Hey guys, look what we got. Dual port, three and a half inch hard drive, RAID enclosure. Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're gonna be reviewing the Van Tech three and a half inch RAID one, RAID enclosure. And we're gonna do doing the unboxing of it as well. Relatively inexpensive. This is less than $50 on Amazon, which is a home run. Take a look at this real quick. Let's see. Here's the enclosure. Now remember, this is a diskless enclosure. You must provide the hard drives. Very nice. The accessories. External SATA cable. USB 3.0 cable. Screws for the hard drives. Nice hard, nice enclosure stand. So this is nice, so you don't have to worry about it just in case. It's, you know, you want it to be nice and sturdy. You have a stand, that's nice. External power supply. Now the reason why I bought this one is because this is a 12 volt, should be a 12 volt, three amp power supply. Now I got this in a 12 volt because of my external power that I have, because I'm running it off the grid. So I needed it to be 12 volt compliant I didn't want to have to have an AC adapter within the enclosure. I wanted to have an external 12 volt so I can plug it into my batteries. So this is really simple. So really all we have to do now is just install the hard drives. Can't imagine it being all that difficult. This is relatively straightforward. Take it apart, insert the drives, put it back together again, and plug it into the system. And that's that. And that is it. We have it. Hard drives are now installed. Now we're going to test it out. All right, here I decided to use a 256 gig solid state drive because I wanted to see the full performance of this uh, external USB hard drive. I um, This is probably top speed of it which is actually quite impressive about 116 115 megs a second uh, I'll take that 117 we actually hit that's that's pretty darn good I also tested with mechanical hard drives um, the drives that I'm using are actually I cho changed my mind I didn't use the one terabyte hard drives I used uh, two 320 gig drives instead of Seagate's and um, for this test and we're gonna see the performance uh, in a few seconds here okay now as you can see we're using the mechanical hard drives now the reason why I did the, uh, the solid state is because I want to see the performance now this is mechanical hard drive performance now we're using an older drive this is 7200.10 Seagate drive so if you have those drives they will work in this enclosure and we're achieving about 72 megabytes per second um, that's respectable this is a very, very good enclosure. Um, we're copying over, like over almost six gigs worth of data, and it'll do it in a, in a minute or so, and that's very impressive. So just about six gig worth of data in about a minute and 45 seconds. That's impressive. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, not bad. I mean, now I'm only testing USB 3.0. I'm not doing external SATA. Uh, connection um, obviously it's going to be a little bit quicker than this but I'm more interested in three USB 3.0 for this task this is very impressive this I like this it, it works really well this is a very good performing external uh, hard drive enclosure uh, I really I recommend this product it's low cost it's less than 50 bucks you can't beat it with a stick so I recommend the Vantech external enclosure a hundred percent it's easy to use easy to install easy to set up it's just everything is simple you have a couple of switches to set up the raid configuration you have a mode button that you have to press to set it up and that's it easy to the performance of the enclosure is very very good considering i'm very happy with the performance it's perfect for content creators who want to have you know raid configuration for their data 
It's just absolutely incredible. I, I love it. And it's the best part about it. It's under 50 bucks. You can't beat it with a stick. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to buy it, the link up down below. And that's it. We'll see you next time. Creative Labs iRaw. Oh. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger. And it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the rate array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,